what they believe in, so that at the end of the day, we can see a positive mindset section. Now, as we cross borders, President Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya, in an address to the nation last evening, confirmed that he will oversee a smooth transition uh, to the next administration. Kenyatta, who fell short from directly congratulating his successor, expressed his readiness to facilitate a peaceful transition of power and to respect the decision of the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. When I was sworn in as your president, I made a pledge to the country, a pledge to uphold the rule of law and the decisions made by the judiciary on all matters appertaining to our governance. Today, the Supreme Court made a ruling on the presidential dispute, upholding the results announced by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission on the 15th of August, 2022. And in keeping to the pledge that I made to uphold the rule of law, when I took the oath of office, I commit to executing the orders of this court to the letter. The process of handing over is in progress through the Assumption of Office Committee, which actually has already begun its work as of August 10th, 2022. And indeed, it is my intention to oversee a smooth transition to the next administration and all the necessary orders to facilitate this process have already been issued. I want to take this opportunity to thank every single Kenyan for holding a peaceful election. And for this, I want to thank God, and I want to thank our political parties, but I also want to thank every single individual Kenyan for bringing us thus far. I want to wish well all who have won as they guide our country into the future. And I thank you all for the opportunity to serve. And I say, may God bless you all, and may God bless. And with such a brilliant speech, again, the members of parliament have welcomed the Kenyan Supreme Court ruling that has upheld the election of William Ruto as then fifth president of Kenya. The legislators say this is an indication of progressive growth in democracy which other East African countries including Uganda should learn from. The last two votes have seen the society feel East Africa over the presidential petition in the Republic of Kenya. The eyes have been on the Supreme Court on whether it would be upholding on nullifying the presidential elections. The wait, however, is no more, as William Samoei Ruto has been confirmed as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. The presidential election petition number E005 of 2022 as consolidated with the presidential election petition numbers E001, 2, 3, 4, 7 and 8 of 2022 are hereby dismissed. It is a ruling that has been welcomed by many, including a section of Ugandan members of parliament. The judicial system of Kenya has matured and it is something to teach, to give lessons to other, uh, other systems in East Africa and certainly all over Africa.
and possibly the world and the third world because we have seen this in especially Latin America also having problems, including even the Eastern Bloc. And I want to say that many people had lost hope because many people on, on the bench, on the Supreme Court bench, were of the side of, of, of Lilo Odinga. But they didn't follow that as the many people uh, thought that they are going to go on the side of Lilo Odinga as they did in 2017, but they were just following the case on merit. We have learned that if you went into the election and you feel you're aggrieved, you've been mistreated, you have to go to court. And the moment you go to court, be ready for the results, the way they will come out. The MPs say William Ruto's win is positive for not only Uganda, but all East African countries. We are all rejoicing as East Africa because we passed year laws and we are looking forward to the East African Federation. So we are very, very happy about it. William Ruto of Kenya Kwanza Alliance contested against Azmiola Umoja's Raila Odinga, who came second in a tightly contested presidential race. Odinga was supported by incumbent President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has since remained tight-lipped on the presidential election outcome. The MPs say there is a lot to learn from this. These are the two heavily rich families of Kenya. If he is able to cut across that, walk on the precipice politically to the apex of the mountain, is a great man. And he's speaking is the voice of the voiceless, the voice of the local person. So it is a lesson to us Ugandans also to know that when you sit in those offices, you must exercise, uh, uh, the, 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 you, you must exercise that in accordance with the constitution, in accordance with the legal framework. And that will help. When, once you come out with a, a, a ruling, which is based on the law, then definitely you may not get challenges. Of, of people saying you've been one-sided. With William Ruto, confirmed next president of the Republic of Kenya, presidential swearing-in is slated for Tuesday, September 13th. Henry Okrut, UBC. And with that story, let's take a short break and return with more news. Super. As you pay Mpola Mpola for this smartphone, make calls, update your WhatsApp status, watch YouTube, and Google anything under the sun with 2 GB worth of data every month for 7 months. Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balance Mpola Mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly, or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN Kabode Super Easy Easy. I remember the lockdown when the streets were empty and our lives disrupted when businesses closed and our livelihoods hung in the balance hospitals were full we lost loved ones jobs and hope our children couldn't study anymore we cannot let this happen again. We should not go back. Get fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and join the millions of Ugandans who are already vaccinated. Nice. Thank you, honey. Yo! Uh, yo! <laughs> you guys, gather is going down. 
Gaza! Gaza! Yo! I tell you what. Uh huh. Yo! Yo! Airtel is giving you bigger data bundles for the same price. Dell Star 175 hash to choose from our range of bigger Gillux bundles that don't expire. Bigger monthly bundles, all for the same price. And stay connected longer to your loved ones. Airtel, the smartphone network. Forget last season. Forget the oohs and the ohs. Forget every moment that stole the show. Because the real show is here on GoTV. It's the new season. It's action-packed. And it's going to be non-stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup, make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoder with one month of GoTV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy non-stop football. GoTV Uganda. Love it. October October We can't tolerate sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is unacceptable in our school. Because a good school equals a better life. Raising voices. Quate Simu! Get the 4G smartphone of your dreams today and pay as you use. Choose from the Techno Pop 5 Pro, Techno Pova Neo, Samsung A03 Core, or Nokia C10 and pay conveniently in daily, weekly, and monthly installments for a period of a year using Airtel money. You will also enjoy free 3GB and 100% bonus data on weekly and monthly bundles every month for three months. Visit any D-Lite shop or select Airtel Money branches countrywide and get one today. Terms and conditions apply. Airtel, the smartphone network. Nivana wa fit when you eat it, Nivana wa fit when you eat it, Nivana wa fit when you eat it. Nivana Packaged Drinking Water is a product of Crown Beverages Limited, makers of Pepsi products. That's life. That's Nivana. The Corporate Games Season 2022-2023 is here. Don't miss lots of fun and networking. 12 sports disciplines and over 2,000 participants with over 40 corporate companies in one place. This happens every first Sunday of every month. For more information, contact info at corporategamesug.com or visit our website www.corporategamesug.com or you can call us on 0700-339-048 or 0785-642-953. Don't miss on Sunday, 11th of September, 2022 at Chambago University. The Corporate Games, inspiring corporates through sports.
The Corporate Games Season 2022-2023 is here. Don't miss lots of fun and networking. 12 sports disciplines and over 2,000 participants with over 40 corporate companies in one place. This happens every first Sunday of every month. For more information, contact info at corporategamesug.com or visit our website www.corporategamesug.com or you can call us on 0700-339-048 or 0785-642-953. Don't miss on Sunday, 11th of September, 2022 at Chambago University. The Corporate Games, inspiring corporates through sports. Welcome back. It's time for business and uh, sorry about uh, that very slight problem. Now, coffee farmers under their umbrella body, Devoted Coffee Farmers Initiative, Uganda have uh, threatened to demonstrate of a failure by government in buying their seedlings. Uh, this follows delays response on their petition of a government's delay and disbursing funds for distribution of coffee seedlings uh, to farmers that has caused them losses of over 500 billion shillings. According to the farmers, the process of distribution of these seedlings was supposed to start in early March, but was halted by government and no communication was made to that triggered. Now, farmers and coffee nursery bed operators say they are stuck with seedlings after government's failure to buy them for supply to the farmers in this season. This year used it to give us certified certificates. They could go and verify our nurseries and they had to give us certificates which are supposed to end with this year 2022. So we had to make, we had seedlings to end up with 2022. We waited maybe for renew. They normally renew our certificates, but we have waited since they are begun. And above all, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, I appeal that let him use his powers to make sure that these rains are almost going. For us in Northern Uganda, we have lost our best season. Almost. And now, if we could give us this season, this would be very good. Stayed by pests. And we encourage them that government, because government had promised to buy wood, wood free coffee seedlings and give it up to farmers. So we encourage them to cut down those, uh, that coffee and the sugar canes. And they did so. Since last season, they dug their holes, prepared their gardens, they never received the, uh, the coffee seedlings last season. Even this season, it's, uh, it's, yet, yet, it's not yet clear that they will receive the coffee seedlings. We therefore appeal to government to please purchase coffee seedlings from the nursery operators, give it farmers, because if they don't get it, they are in losses. Your voice is loud and clear. Now, Tondeka Bus Company has launched new buses to hit the road and help Kampala passengers move comfortably. The executive director of Tondeka Buses, Stephen Monje, says that the electric buses will be brought in phases uh, uh, within the first half within having the first five buses and the charges will be lower than those that are offered on the market. Tondeka is here 
to help residents of Kampala so that they can transfer more comfortably, conveniently, affordably, but at the same time have a clean city. We are also addressing the environment among other things. So we believe by bringing brand new vehicles in the city and preferably electric vehicles ultimately. So this is the beginning. It's a big, big landmark for us as a company, but we want to give a gift to the Ugandans starting now to make sure that Ugandans enjoy their city. There's no point why we should be enjoy talking about other cities and admiring cities outside Kampala. Kampala should be a city to be admired by others. So our dream as Tondeka is to create a city that's possibly the pride of Ugandans where you can travel and talk about your city Kampala back home, wherever you go. Other than coming here and say it's Brussels like this, London is like this, people should say Kampala is like this. So that's our focus. And today is the beginning of that journey. Today is the beginning of our dream of transformation of transport in Kampala city and its environments. Basically, metropolitan Kampala. You know, the ultimate is in the, we are talking about phases. This is not the beginning of phase one. Phase one is basically testing systems, training of buses, setting up uh, technology in the buses. So we are beginning with only five buses, just for testing systems. That's phase one. As we go to phase two, we are going to grow the numbers of buses. First to 30 by end of year, go to 600 by end of next year, and ultimate 1,300, hopefully by the end of 2024. These buses for now, as during the planning phase, phase one, is, is the, 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 the circular route. That is from Muntinda, or through Kamwecha, to Wandegaya, State Square, going via Nakawa and back to Muntinda. Just testing systems, yes. We are going to charge lower than anybody else, is all I can promise. I can't put a figure to that, my team is still working on that. But we are going to charge lower than anybody else, because our intention, first of all, is to make it affordable. In other words, we want to give money back to the travelers. By charging them less, they make savings on the money. Today, people actually spend up to 80% of their earnings on transport. It doesn't make sense. And into the world of sports, uh, the 2022 Pepsi University Football League season is due to return with quarterfinal ties that have been drawn. Our reporter was at Katikati Restaurant and has more details. After a while minus action, the 2022 Pepsi University Football League is set to return on 14th September with quarterfinal ties. <laughs> The draw has been made with Nkumba University to entertain defending champions Uganda Christian University as Bugema University plays Uganda Matters University. We started with a meeting of all sports tutors, those ones in the quarterfinals and those ones that didn't make it. We agreed in that meeting that we need to protect the image of our brand, the UFL, and measures are going to be put in place by the hosting and the visiting teams to ensure that the fans don't disrupt the events. Two-time defending champions Kampala University first St. Lawrence University, while Chambogo University dates Makere University Business School. These games will be played on home and away basis between 14th September and 5th October. And that's all we had time for. Thank you so much for being a part of us. My name is Patricia Likomampanga. Very good afternoon to you. UBC, inspiring Uganda. Super. As you pay Mpola Mpola for this smartphone, make calls, update your WhatsApp status, watch YouTube, and Google anything under the sun with 2 GB worth of data every month for 7 months. Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balance Mpola Mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly, or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN Cupboard Super easy easy. Corporate 
Games Season 2022-2023 is here. Don't miss lots of fun and networking, 12 sports disciplines and over 2,000 participants with over 40 corporate companies in one place. This happens every first Sunday of every month. For more information, contact info at corporategamesug.com or visit our website www.corporategamesug.com or you can call us on 0700-339-048 or 0785-642-953. Don't miss on Sunday, 11th of September, 2022 at Chambago University. The Corporate Games, inspiring corporates through sports. I remember the lockdown when the streets were empty and our lives disrupted when businesses closed and our livelihoods hung in the balance hospitals were full we lost loved ones jobs and hope our children couldn't study anymore 